a nice hot cup of tea and 2016 has only just begun and it's already yielded one of the most exciting gadgets of the year. Because uh, this is basically, it's a cup heater for heating your water, for making cups of tea when you know you might not be near a kettle. Very handy, just take it on site, you plug it in and off you go. Except it's not that straightforward. I'll just put this out of the way at the moment. You see, I featured a video recently which was about me throwing a kett element into my bath to heat it up. Very silly, I did say, don't do this, it's really deadly. And someone said, oh yeah, see in India and China, yeah, we've got these little cup heaters that basically just stick mains voltage into the water and it heats it up. And I was thinking, really? And, well, obviously I went straight on eBay and then tried to find the magic words that are going to find that. Well, the first ones I found were these boring old resistive heating elements. You know the ones, just the standard heating element. And yeah, that's not exciting enough, it's not dangerous enough. But then, I found this listing here, and I'm not going to give you a link to it, because if you want one of these you can find it yourself, because I'm not going to encourage you guys to buy these at all, because if someone, you know, in your family picks this up and then tries to use it, that's not going to end well. Anyway, for the mere £2, which is about $3, you can buy one of these marvellously deadly devices uh, in two forms. This is the 500 watt version, which is just an arbitrary figure, you'll see why. And this is, presumably it's shorter, this is the 300 watt version, which I've just ordered because I love this one so much, because it's so dangerous! And that's what this channel's all about. So, let's take a look at it. I can't really tell you much about the instructions there in Chinese. It says plug it in and stick it in your drink. Okay. The instructions on the uh, listing were very odd about, you know, nuclear action, the water and radiation and all that. And it was like, oh, crikey. Um, but uh, the gist is that I, I ordered it and I thought, maybe it is just a heating element, you know, it encapsulated in plastic, it's just heater plates, I mean it's viable, but you know, it would get very hot. So the first thing it did when it arrived this morning, I got my meter and I stuck it to ohms, because if this is 500 watts, uh, that's going to be about 2 amps, it's going to pass in 240 volts, and that's going to equate to about 120 ohms. So the first thing I did was I stuck the meter across the plug and got nothing, nada. Zilch, and I think, oh. So then I put it to continuity, and then I went from one of the pins into the metal strips. Uh, there's continuity from one pin, and from the other pin. Oop. Yep, continuity to the other side. So basically, live and neutral are going straight down to metal strips inside this housing. Excellent, that's a good start. So uh, basically speaking, uh, let's bring the let's bring the power meter in. This all gets very exciting, and our cheap Chinese adapter. Excellent. I mean, we want to make sure we do the job completely here. And I'll put this somewhere. It's not going to steam up the lens. It may steam up the lens there. I'm just trying to get an optimal position here that we can see this without because uh, steam comes off this straight away. And the nice thing about this is you can plug it in right. So that's it plugged in. That's it live now. And there's no heat. That's nice, it's good. There's no heat at all. I wouldn't recommend even touching this while it's out, out of water. I wouldn't recommend touching it while it's in water. And as soon as you stick it in, you instantly, the power instantly goes up to about, it's, it's very accurate, it goes up to about 500 watts and you can see the water all starting to cloud. And I can see steam coming off now because wherever there's water trapped and it, it just instantly steams off because it's boiling it. So yeah, this thing is just passing electrical current through the water. It's what's called an electrode boiler. And yeah, MD who really knows their stuff electrically is now going, what the heck, they sell that on eBay? Well, hell yeah. And there's a slight issue with this because um, it does say in the instructions now put your fingers in the water. I, I think that's a good, that's a good idea. Uh, that's a very good idea. Uh, I should also say this does its job splendidly. It really does heat the water quickly, so I'm going to have to be quick here. So let's, uh, let's drop, let's, I'm not grounded, so this is a good thing. So I'm about to stick a teaspoon in. That's handy. That's, that's, we'll call that the electrode. And I'm not going to measure to earth because yeah, I think a lot of current's going to flow, and I think it could trip the RCD. So let's turn this round to AC volts. 
and we'll measure the potential difference on the teaspoon, which will of course vary depending on where it is, so I'm going to measure it to neutral. Ah, uh, that's about 117, 118 volts to the teaspoon, to basically earth, that would, that would be earth. Um, yeah, that's, so now let's measure how much current flows in the teaspoon. So if I turn this, and I'm going to set this to AC amps, I'm going to set it up to the 20 amp range. Move this over to the 20 amp position, and I'm going to poke this into neutral, and I'm going to go to the teaspoon. It's passing about 220 milliamps. That's quite a lot. That would hurt. That would hurt so much. That would that would spoil your cup of tea quite dramatically. Um, is this steaming up? No, it's it's actually quite good. There is lots of steam going in the direction. You'll see the haze coming up. So, yeah, obviously your body is going to have a, a bit of resistance, but you know, it's 110 volts with about a good few hundred milliamps behind it. It's not going to end well. Notice me changing the meter leads back from amps, never leave them in amps, because uh, if you just randomly pick it up and they're set to amps, it'll be a dead short circuit. And if you stick it across electronics it can damage it. So this teaspoon here is now live. That's me holding the teaspoon. I'm not going to get shocks. I'm not referenced to ground. However, I do notice that the 500 watt rating as this gets nice and hot now uh, is now up at about, uh, just tidy on for 800. I've just put that right under the camera, haven't they? Yeah, this is a, uh, I'm just going to have to uh, give the camera a wee wave, I think now. If I can actually get access to it here. No, I completely missed the camera because it's shrouded. Hold on a second, I'm just going to try and clean that off. That's better. So yeah, it does a very good job of heating the water quickly. Uh, but, uh, as I say, this is a... Uh, the power it dissipates into the water will depend. I've just put that right under the camera again. I'm just going to move this out of the way. The power it dissipates... I'm going to also take the teaspoon out, he said, picking it out rather gingerly. The power it dissipates will actually vary depending on the conductivity of water. If you live in a hard water area with lots of minerals, it's going to, or chlorine or stuff like that, it's going to pass a lot of current. That's getting very hot. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's very unpredictable. It certainly works. Uh, the table is now vibrating at 50 hertz, well probably 100 hertz, and as it boils, um, it gets louder and louder and louder. I'm just moving this just trying to get away from the lens here. But as you can see, it, it certainly does a very good job of boiling the water. And once it gets up to the boiling point, the current starts to go down because the, the bubbles are actually reducing the contact area uh, with the water. And it's making a loud buzzing... Yeah, see, that, that was pretty fast for boiling that water, wasn't it, really? Um, yeah. So... Uh, if I gingerly pick this out, it says do not take it out with the power's on. If you take it out with the power on, all the water that's left in it starts boiling in between the plates and then it kind of just dries itself out and the power drops down. It goes back down to ultimately zero again. As soon as you stick it in again, straight into boiling action. Yes, it's pretty impressive, but uh, yeah, I don't recommend buying these. I mean, if you're... If you live on your own, if there's nobody else that's going to ever find this and pick it up and stick it in a metal cup or a saucepan or throw it in a bath or, you know, even just, you know, stick a teaspoon in and stir or, you know, leave a teaspoon in, then technically speaking, you could buy one for your own novelty. But this thing it may be fine for China and India and they're sort of maybe they're... I don't know, less grounded environment, or maybe they're just used to the fact that, hey, it's electricity, let's not stick our fingers in. But this thing is just, it's fantastic, I love it. <laughs> not supposed to say that, am I? But yeah, this thing is just, uh, it's, it's available on eBay. That's just ridiculous. I mean, how can, obviously, like, eBay probably doesn't realise that things like this are being sold. Well, they obviously don't, because, like, all the other products that are sold, that's boiling hot. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a uh, totally steamed up again, but that's all right. It is well in keeping with the theme of this particular video. Now the question is, if what happens if I then make some tea in this? Uh, what current can we get the current up to? So I'm just going to just pause momentarily.
OK, that's me made my tea now, and a couple of sodium saccharine sweeteners in. The emphasis on the sodium, because that should uh, do wonders. And the thing is now completely dried out, as it does, because it gets quite warm and it just kind of dries any residual moisture itself by the power of electricity. So let's see what sort of current this is going to go up to, and I'm going to go in quite tenderly here. Yeah. All right, yeah, this is going up to thousands of watts now. And this is for reheating drinks, is it? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a definitely a, a very fast tea reheater. Oh God, look at all the steam coming off that. And this is now highly conductive. Maybe I should, uh, I'll stick it back in and unplug it. Ugh. Yeah, scary, but fun. No, stop saying it's fun, people will buy it. Don't buy it, I really recommend not buying this. It really is, uh, it is just, just dangerous. But uh, intriguing all the same, it's certainly... This used to be a way of heating water in the past. They used to have electrode boilers. I, this was all covered when I was at college ages back. I don't know if they still use electrode boilers, but um, this is the same technology, just by basically passing water directly through the liquid. I mean, there's really... With stainless steel electrodes, there's nothing to go wrong, uh, fundamentally. I mean, I suppose the electrodes might corrode over time, not really sure. No heat element to worry about, but there's the whole electrical isolation aspect of it. But yeah, intriguing, very intriguing, surprising. But uh, yeah, definitely the first dangerous find of 2016. Bonus footage using a black work jacket as a sort of cyclorama in the background. So there it goes in the electrode into the water. And it doesn't take long before that just starts clouding out little bubbles and uh, I'm not 100% sure of what. Is that just um, just causing localised boiling, I guess, really, that's causing that? And out the top of it, you can actually see wisps of steam coming out straight off. You know, it's, uh, it's quite odd. Uh, I guess it is ultimately just steam rising to the top, uh, just being generated directly in the electrodes. And from that, it boils quite quickly. So, uh, yeah, weird device. Now available with extra loud power mousse self-cleaning action. This whole fucking table is vibrating. It really is buzzing loud. Yeah, that's not freaky at all. But hey, it's going to be very clean. Oh yeah, this is a... At some point I really should unplug this, shouldn't I? Everything on the table is vibrating. The current is going down now, I have to say. Uh, the moose is getting quite big, it's uh, washing up liquid. Yeah, I think that's enough. I think it's had enough self-cleaning action before it does something really violent. Ooh.